to this out because she's making her bestie for her birthday. <laughs> so, I need to figure out like a good angle where to put this camera. Where to put the camera so that it is not in my way during the day. That is the goal. I picked up the camera and I have no idea what I'm filming today. I've got a long list of things that I would like to film, but I'm not exactly sure where I want to film them, you know? Um, so I felt a little bit of a push to share. And y'all know I'm always trying to avoid sharing. Because <laughs> I feel like it's not for me. But it is for me. I actually love memory keeping. Um, it's the thing that I wanted to do. When I first decided to get onto YouTube was keep some memories, y'all. I love taking pictures. I love uh, scrapbooking. I love journaling. I love um, filming and editing. And the whole point of that, all of those things, was to keep some memories. Keep your girl's memories, okay? And so in order to do that or justify my hobby... Um, I kind of had to turn them into a thing, you know, so that is where YouTube and look at Peaches. Oh, you guys haven't met Peaches yet. Hi, Peaches. Yeah, that is the whole reason any of this came along is because I wanted to keep some memories friends and I needed to find a way to, um fund my hobby okay that kind of turned into me sharing more in these spaces that I'm not the most comfortable with and it's taken years for me to just get to a place where I'm saying yes to what the Lord wants me to do so you guys have been along for that ride for a while now if you've been here for a while <laughs> if you're new to our channel or any of our internet spaces then you're gonna learn very quickly that this is just not something your girl naturally loves to do, is share in internet spaces. But I do love to memory keep, so we're just going to move forward with that narrative, okay? Okay, so Cameron is at school. Um, it is his second day of school. Um, he's got a full day today. Yesterday he had a half a day. So Brian takes him to school. He is on a block schedule, so he's, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, one week, Tuesday, Thursday, the next week. Today is a Friday, so he is there until 12. He got up this morning. He did his workout. Um, he did some of his work before he left this morning. Kendall is opting to do an evening schedule. Um, he wants to try it out and see how things go. That way he can get up nice and slowly in the morning. He's a late riser like his mama. <laughs> he, just feels, he just feels better rested that way. And so we're going to try that out. Um, he's probably going to get started with his study time around 1 or 2 o'clock. That gives him plenty of time to start the day off with some work-related things that he wants to do. My boy is a budding chef and animator. So he wants to work on some of his platform um, tasks and things that he has to do. What else? So that's what we're doing this morning. I mean, I'm, I need to make a running list of things that... I want to get accomplished in this like first quarter of homeschool life with them transitioning into the new school year. Uh, just if you've never been around here before, then you just need to know like I do things the way that I want to do them. <laughs> okay, We don't follow any norms. We just do what we feel is right around here. And so I'm going to do a lot of things out of order and... Yeah, that's just how we do things here, okay? So, with that being said, um, I'm trying to pull together a little bit of a graduation-like ceremony. Not at the end of the year, but at the beginning of the year. I told you, just go with us, okay? <laughs> Everything is going to be all right. Um, I want to kind of like map that out, how I'm going to do that little small celebration. What else? What else? What else? I also need to, you know, officially pick a first day because that is a very fluid theme around unschool parts, which also, uh, so unschool's a thing, I guess, on TikTok, of which we are not on, um, 
it has become quite the subject chatting things out about homeschool and life and I don't get too deep into it but it's quite interesting to see things swirl around and people um, get on to try to justify or defend and have you guys seen that lately um, anyway I say that to say that I've always been hesitant to label us as any type of homeschooler. I really don't even love saying homeschool. Um, the thing that best, I feel like best defines us is unschool. Um, there's eclectic, there's classical, there's all these different methods um, of homeschool that are considered somewhat like labels or definers of how people do homeschool life around here. We are just purpose driven, but unschool has always been the best way to describe us. So it's interesting just to kind of like log in um, internet wise and see, you know, what is being talked about or what is being shared. But anyway, like I was saying, um, as we move along in homeschool life, just a lot of the norms, the school norms, such as first day, last day, um, grade level all of those things are just such fluid ideas and they require so much more explanation and they're very specific um or unique to our individual homeschool family lives if that makes sense so i said a whole bunch of words to say that we are setting up this year's official first day of school so that I can keep some memories because remember my goal is always to live and learn and to do some memory keeping <laughs> so we're gonna do that um what else what else did I want to share with you guys I have so much to share and I think that is all the more reason why I just need to pick up the camera and go for it <laughs> so I'm hoping you guys chime in kind of builds you know, our community back up again. I backed out of a lot of things over the last couple years for good reason because I'm always trying to keep what matters most at the forefront. So the health of my home and my marriage and my kids and their education and family, all of those things I prioritize. Um, but now I'm in this season where I'm realizing that prioritizing sharing you know Falco family sharing is probably oh should be a lot further up there than it is if that makes any sense so we're gonna try this thing again okay and this time with God at the forefront which in my mind and my heart he's always been at the forefront but it's a whole journey okay <laughs> Um, it, my faith has been a whole journey, just learning and growing and really just trying again and again to do better and better, not necessarily get things right, but just to do better and better and understanding that all the good stuff is in the journey and not the destination. This is like my forever goal. Okay. So I'm going to stop yapping and get on with the day. I just wanted to start off by saying hi. Hi. And let's get into this day. Okay, so keep all of our games and things, of which we haven't really touched too much lately, with the exception of maybe the puzzles. So I definitely want to get more of that in this year. At the top of our coat closet, because <laughs> we don't have much of anywhere else to put it. <laughs> I have the Make and Move Shark, a submarine, a 3D submarine, the Titanic. These two you saw already if you um, have already seen our uh, curriculum haul for this year, but the Treasure Chest Ancient Egypt, Bio Creations Jungles. And this last one is Build a Working Maglev Train, Magnetic Science. These are the Build and Read slash kits. Um, that I have. Alright, so another reason I really don't do the whole show and tell situation is that um, I am not a fan of subject matter expert unless you're truly a subject 
matter expert <laughs> and I'm not so I'm just always have a hard time with um, talking all things homeschool and not sounding like I'm trying to show you how to do something. It has always been my goal and my heart to just share like what I'm doing. This is my first time. I never even knew homeschool was a thing before we started doing it. So it has been like a magical journey for me, full of ups and downs and I just always approach so much of it with excitement and I want to share, but I usually don't <laughs> because I just never want to be seen like or want to present myself as if I am showing you anyone how to do homeschool. This is just the way that we have been stumbling through it and so much of it is right and so much of it is wrong and I have loved every part of it. So, um... One of the things I've really been thinking about, and because I really enjoyed um, a membership a membership community type space where it gave me really the freedom to just kind of talk about homeschool and life, and I really enjoyed it, but it became very overwhelming at times because you want to do a good job at managing the space, and a lot of times I wasn't even sure if I was doing a good job or not because my first priority is actual homeschool and life. So um, I slowly just kind of backed out of that space because it became overwhelming for me. Um, and I just really have felt a major pull to try again. Look who's home. Say hello. <laughs> Wait, let me. Hey, Anthem. Uh, Hello, class, friend. Class is long. It was. Well, this was your first time. Last time it was half an hour. I mean, that's I not mean, bad. But half I, a day. I would have liked it longer last year. They've missed you. They haven't seen you. Let's give them an update. Uh, um, uh, well, he I'm actually ready. took some of his work that we do here with him to class today so that he could do it during some downtime. Did you actually get it done? Yeah, now I just have math and history. Okay. Then, Let me see your face. Why are you avoiding me? I'm Don't not. I was avoid I'm, I'm, trying me. To, I'm trying to change into different clothes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I handsome. Look at that little piece of hair you got right there. Tuck that in. Oh, I like it. <laughs> mm. That's your comfort curl? <laughs> That's what you call it? That's what I we can know. call it. Your comfort curl. Okay, so anyway, what I was saying was, um, I'm just really considering starting the Friends Club Patreon up space back up again, because I need it. <laughs> I need you guys. I really do. I, I need it. I need a space where I can talk all things homeschool without it being, let me show you how to homeschool. And I love the people that do that. There are a lot of people that I feel like are truly qualified to share um, their experience in that way. I'm just not one of them. <laughs> I just want to talk about all the things that we're doing right and doing wrong all at the same time and not feel pressure about it. So anyway, that's one thing I'm considering and I've been considering it for a while and I figured I just need to go ahead and decide. So by the end of the day, I'm going to decide whether or not I'm going to start up our Patreon Friends Club space again. But what I was saying is, the reason I brought that up is because I thought that would be a perfect space for me to just kind of chat all long and wrong about um, some of the things that we have and how we're doing things and how things are working and all of that stuff without it being too much of a focus that I can't like get ourselves out of, if that makes any sense. So I grabbed the little build kits and I think... And I'm going to sit down and see how that film how that feels to film the build kits because someone asked in a comment on our last video um, and said someone said that they would like to see more of the build kits and I'm not really sure what that more would be but I know I can sit down and talk all about it um, but I'm just not sure that the the Falco family space is the right place to do that as I try to kind of find ourselves in homeschool and life right now. So um, I think what I am going to do though is go ahead and sit down, walk through it, see how I feel, 
and decide later on. And y'all didn't ask for any of that information, but I told you. Okay. <laughs> also, I have... We got a fun little package from Circuit Mess, a company called Circuit Mess. Um, and we have been trying out their kits um, and seeing how they might fit into our homeschool and life. And I just cleared out some of these. And I think I'm going to stack them in there and put them at the top of our bookshelf there. This is the perfect opportunity to show you what we have. I have to memorize that. You have to turn on your phone? I just leave it in the car. Oh, you left it in the car. Okay. Yeah, I just leave it in the car. Yeah. So they have a new policy at the school to turn in their phones. And I was wondering, because he's only there for one class, if they would actually um, give him an opportunity to turn his phone in. But he didn't even take it into Yesterday class. Yesterday I had it. I mean, last class I had it. You did? Yeah. Because I, I think he doesn't have a homeroom. So I would imagine that they would have that process completed during homeroom class. But anyway, it's not a big deal for Cameron. Um, he usually has his phone for music. near him, but he uses it for music, nothing else. But he loves to listen to music while he is doing his work, and I let him do that for the most part. Every now and then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can still get your work. Okay, we're working on that. So, oh, all right. So, it's signed this. All right. So yeah, they sent us some goodies. We have this is upside down. They actually sent us three of these. We have one for each of them. This one is called the Spencer. This one is the Cynthia. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Cynthia. Uh, Savannah did this one already and she kind of loves it. This is a spoiler alert. She loves the kits. The Wheels On kit. Make your own game console with the Bit kit. And this one is the Bite Boy. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> I keep stumbling over my words. I told you guys in the last video, it's so hard for me to slow myself down and speak like I normally do. But anyway, I'm looking forward to working our way through those boxes and figuring out how like we would naturally fit them into our homeschool days and how we can make the most out of them. Um, because it is like a major challenge. Let's talk about this for a second. It is, it is a major challenge, um, challenging part of homeschool life because while people would love to tell you how qualified you are to homeschool your children, that is probably an unpopular opinion. I would dare to say that being qualified is not something that I champion. I think I am gifted the opportunity. Teachers are valuable. They are educated, um, highly educated in many cases. Uh, I probably need to sit down and really flesh out my feelings about that so you guys can really get the heart of what I mean by that. But teachers are valuable. Uh, the work that I do to try to account for the fact that I'm not as highly educated as I would like to be qualified to teach the children in a certain way. There are things that we are missing as homeschool parents. There are resources and other aspects of education that we then have to find a way to fit into our homeschool um, in order to educate our children well. And I think that homeschool parents that really understand that are able to fill it the best. <sighs> anyway, I said all of that to try and say that I love to be able to take a resource and be given the time and space that I need to really figure out how are we going to fit this in over what time period, in what ways, for which student, which scholar, which kiddo, whatever you want to call them. It's a real thing and it's a lot of work and it's why I feel like what I was saying earlier as far as the unschool conversation is so complex, nuanced, 
slash complicated <laughs> because unschooling is not a lot of what is being thrown around in the internet world. It is not as easy as it seems. It is not just simply parenting. Um, it takes a lot of research and development, and wisdom, and you know, just so much. It's our work to unschool kids properly. Um, and part of that is a lot of calling through resources and being able to really chew on them and figure out how to use them best. So, yes, we said a lot of words to try and convey a lot of feelings <laughs> that we will get back to later on. Anyway, hey boo-boo. <laughs> There's my girl. Just taking care of her bunnies. Mm -hmm. She's on bunny duty right now. She finished her work for the day. Ooh, What's poem. next up? Can we hear your poem, please? Come on. Let us hear it. You want me to read it for you? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you're so good at it. Okay. Ready? <clears throat> okay. I want to breathe. Okay. Ready? What was the assignment, huh? Uh, it's write a poem about the... Well, I kind of modified it. It said write a poem about the night sky. I just wrote about the night. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter because I added sky in there. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Read. Okay. Dear Nighttime. No. Well, that's why you should read it. I'm going to get it wrong. Yeah. Are you going to? Okay. I miss you well, so no, 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 stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Dear Nighttime, I miss you, so please come back soon. For I've yet to stargaze and say hi to the moon. I'll dance in the glow of every one star. No matter how bright, no matter how far. Oh, nighttime, oh, nighttime, morning is coming. Please hurry back quick, the birds soon will start humming. Slowly and surely the sun will peek out. It's certain morning without a doubt but I promise said night time yes this is a fact this is my favorite point then, okay okay go ahead um go then no, no no but I promise said night time yes this is a fact and he leaned close and whispered tonight I'll be back Girl has become quite the baker. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. Just get memories.
since I feel like it's show and tell season right now, I thought I would show you guys <laughs> some of the things I picked up for tiny little celebration. For the sake of memory keeping, I do have a graduation celebration video from the kids when they were around preschool, kindergarten time. Then I have another one I think I actually did during like a move up to middle school um, a few years ago. So I did have those two accounted for on our um, channel. But um, we're getting ready to do another one of those like little celebrations. Um, and I think I do want to like kind of chat it out and talk about my approach to these celebrations um, instead of them being just kind of like moving all along with social norms they really mean something very special and I would love to share like how I approach it so maybe I'll write that down as another video idea or I don't know audio or podcast idea that I could do if we do open up our friends club again <laughs> which I'm feeling like it's probably something I'm gonna end up doing but Anyway, um, so this is what I got. Uh, this is actually balloons. Y'all know every celebration I have balloons because why not? <laughs> okay, why not? Um, so this is uh, black and white checkered um, 2024 so that I can get a cute little photo shoot in uh, to celebrate this 2024 um, year of homeschool life. So I got that. I got some white and black and gray and um, confetti balloons go along with that and then um, <laughs> so I could probably talk this out completely in another video but I basically decided to do a cap and gown for Savannah to wear to signify her moving from elementary to middle school years um, and then I went ahead and picked up three sashes for them uh, that they are going to use all the way up until high school so our colors for our school our home school's name official name is faith and love academy so we do have a whole official name official mission statement or official seal official flag I'm working on currently <laughs> Because I was going back and forth on whether or not I should go ahead and do that. But you know what? In this season right now, I've decided to be all the way extra. Which I feel like I did it before and then got a little scared to be that. And I'm not doing that anymore. So, um, I did get sashes. Our official school colors are white and navy blue and pink. I got navy blue sashes for them. And then I got pink ropes now this is going to be for graduation but i wanted to show them an example um and what they'd be working towards um and then i got caps so like i said i have a whole cap and gown for savannah but then the boys are going to have caps that i want to give them a little something special for their caps to signify this stage in our homeschool life and I think that's kind of it. What else did I get? Oh, this is another set of balloons. Just cute, like, graduation little characters. The cap um, and gown. And I got one that would fit Savannah really well, but then also still fit Kendall at the end of this year when we kind of signify him moving from gap year to um, freshman year. So that's what I have gonna put these away the kids are still working and what are we gonna do next I've been really doing well filling in my planner which I'm so happy about because y'all know planners well I don't know let me not assume that you are like me and that you don't um, follow along with your planner through the whole year but I think I found something that is working for me in this season. Just making sure that they it absolutely cannot be dated. Okay, I need an undated planner. Um, I also found this planner that has the rings. Which make it really easy for me to move around the pages that I'm not using. 
and just a nice simple layout has really been helping me in this season just kind of write down what i need to write down fill in my days with whatever i have going on and then keep it moving so it's been really working just having something y'all know i'm all things digital and i love that but <laughs> i also like to have this that i can just jot things down take a look at where i'm supposed to be cross things off it's been really good for me right now i don't even know who this planner is by i got it on clearance at joann's and i saw like two or three of them and i certainly should have purchased two or three of them <laughs> it was an 18 month planner so i'm gonna have plenty of space to keep going but i've had this last year i'm gonna have it this year so two years for a clearance price sounds like a good idea to me so i'm just gonna check in with my planner i really don't have much going on today um obviously cameron went to class today and um yeah i don't have too much that i absolutely have to get done and homeschool wise and then i need to just go ahead and move over into some work related things i've got lots of editing to do <laughs> so pray my strength okay for my hands um yeah that's what i'm doing i really want some coffee but i'm trying not to go that route so i think i'm going to make myself either a smoothie or i really want to get into matcha i would i would really like to try making matcha in the mornings something healthier a healthier version of coffee and i'd like to try some matcha so if anybody has any recommendations i would love to hear it because I have no idea. I've never even had matcha before. So who knows. I, I may not even like it. But I'm about to drink it. Just because. <laughs> so. Um, I do want to try that. So I'm probably going to see if I can find that. And then. Oh. I probably should pull together a few of the things. Should I do that in this video? I don't know. I could look around. And see some of the things that we bought that I could consider back to school, a back to school haul. Um, I don't know, being this many years into our unschool lives, we just don't need things around this time like we did in the beginning. Uh, so we're really not buying pencils and markers and pens. Those are things we buy when we need them throughout the year. Uh, so a lot of your typical back to school-ish things like book bags and things like that, we just don't get <laughs> but I do get other things so like for instance this um, portable charger a good old portable charger is super necessary another thing that we got is this wheel this writer's wheel it's kind of an artist slash writer's wheel that I picked up and I'll put together some of the other things that we purchased that would be our version of back to school um, haul type of things. The first lunch. <laughs> 